What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And this is an exciting time to be a PGR player because we just recently got the Her Last Bow event, which has quite a few goodies for us and some things kind of unfortunate for us. We'll get into that. And also, the PC client is going to be coming in about four more days on the 15th of this month. But luckily, I was actually able to get on the PC client beta version of it, which is what you guys are seeing right now. I'm actually on the PC client right now and i can tell you guys ahead of time that this thing is insane like i'm able to play at 120 fps no problem on my system and as far as the requirements for the pc client this is what they sent me uh in my email as far as the actual requirements so for the recommended requirements for the pc client you guys you're definitely gonna have the 64-bit system which is pretty normal and for recommended they want you to use an i7 uh, or an amd ryzen 5 and up Right, you're gonna need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 1060 uh, GPU, right, and 20 gigabytes of available memory, which won't be a big deal on a PC for the most part, right? Now, the minimum requirements are actually, you know, just using a i5, right, with a NVIDIA 1030 GPU, guys. Uh, I've talked to players that use an i5 uh, 1080 Ti, and they say it runs tremendously well. Other players that is actually on the beta. So I just want to give you guys a heads up as far as what you need. You know, it shows that you need at least a minimum of 10 gigabytes of available storage also. So now you know the requirements for the PC client. And But man, if you can get on this thing, guys, if you do have a PC and you love playing PGR, this is really the way to go. It is so crisp and clean. It looks absolutely wonderful. Like this thing looks insane. Really, really great stuff. And even mapping your controllers is pretty simple. And whenever the PC client comes out for everybody, we'll talk more about it. But man, I can tell you guys, it really is pretty damn insane. So in the Her Last Bow event, we have quite a few things that we can do. And uh, we have the Guild Expedition, which we can't really do right now. We have the Winter Sequence. And this is going to be important for us to acquire some rewards. You guys can see that I've already finished these three here. I'm actually working on this one right here. And as far as, you know, doing this game mode, guys, uh, what you want to be doing is you just want to be acquiring these resources from here these little globes here you're going to be acquiring these over time uh, and just click on this thing and collect those babies so that way you can use them in your buff so for example when i click in here you guys you know and again you'll be acquiring more of these things as you play through here and these are the enemies that you're going to be facing you're going to have a certain amount of waves that you're going to go against and when i click on defense 2 and i hit battle preparations right you can put pretty much any character that you want in here. You can also set up a pet for your character if you want to apply a pet. You can give them a pet to do more damage, which definitely helps, guys. Every every little bit helps. And you can, you know, put whatever character you want in here. You can use a new frame character. You can use an omni frame character, which is pretty cool. So, you know, the character you're choosing, you can put it in here. And then you are going to apply buffs. Now, you apply buffs by acquiring those materials that we just talked about a second ago. And you're just going to, you know, click on here, you know, you would equip. So like, let me show you guys. So you click on this here, you would hit equip and just make sure that you know, whatever buff you have applied is equipped. You have certain buffs that are going to be for specific certain characters. Like, so I have live, right? And we have the resistance here, which is really, really going to be nice. Uh, and she has a lot of range also, which is also really good. And then we have here, which allies within range restore a certain amount of HP, Right, this might not be the best because it actually converts 3,000% uh, physical damage, but like a buff like this one here, right, is really for dark characters, right? And then like a buff like this here is going to be more for your lightning characters. And then this buff here is going to be more for your ice characters. So, you know, just apply the buffs that you need for the specific, specific type of character that you're actually using. And then you have the combat enhancement where you're actually leveling up this guy right and this is it's the same little process guys you're just gonna click on here you're gonna apply your certain buffs right so right now i got my hunter's damage all the way up to 50 percent uh you know he's gonna gain more damage as we level this thing up and as i gain more and more of these materials i just level this up so we can do even more damage and then we have you know the hunter will gain you know a certain amount of resistance and you can apply whatever buffs you seem uh you think or you deem applicable that's going to help you as far as you know doing your damage and when you jump into the game mode guys when you jump in here and we'll just jump in here and i just gotta give you guys an example run uh it's really not too difficult uh, you're just gonna have to keep applying buffs as you go through here so you can do more damage so whenever you jump into this it's gonna show the screen guys and they're gonna show these little blue icons you just want to click on here and you just want to apply whatever buff you think is applicable right so if i want to apply a scorch device to add more damage i can right 
All right, we'll just go ahead and do Scorched Device here. There we go. And you're going to have your character over here in the right-hand corner. And you just want to click on him and bring him in, right? So we're just going to wait for these guys to show up. This timer's going to run down. When these guys show up, then we're going to bring in our, you know, uh, hunter here. All right? So we're going to bring him in. We're going to start applying uh, some damage here. There we go. And there we go. And it's pretty much, I mean, this is pretty much what you're going to be doing, guys. You're just going to be doing a bunch of damage to these guys. And you're just going to try to kill off these mobs is essentially what you're doing. So now we just finished off this first wave and, you know, we can add more buffs, right? So we can apply this buff here if we want. We can apply this buff if we want. And we can apply this buff if we want. And then we're just going to wait for these guys to show up again. My uh, hunter is going crazy there. I'm not doing that. He's actually spinning on his own, right? And once this timer runs down, then we'll do some more attacks. And we'll just clear out these waves, and you'll just keep doing that until you actually clear the stage. And it's pretty much that simple, guys. I mean, it's pretty much what you're going to be doing uh, in this thing. If you are having trouble and you're not getting through it, you're just going to have to wait and keep getting these uh, orbs over here. You're just going to have to keep acquiring these over time. So that way you can apply higher buffs to your character. So that way they can do more damage. But not bad, not bad. You know, kind of a fun little event that you can do. You have Wondrous uh, Fairground here, which where, you know, you can test out the two new skins, right? We're going to talk about those in a little bit. You have the Gift of Starlight. And this is freaking awesome. This is an amazing thing about this update is that, I mean, they're going to work. Guys, everybody's going to be able to get this. You're going to be able to get a thousand of these limited tickets. 2,500 of these, you're going to be able to get this S rank selector, which is awesome, guys. I mean, you got, you know, Rosetta in here. You have Lucia. You have Bianca. You have Alpha. Uh, Luna. I mean, all kinds of characters, guys. Nanami. Lots of characters. Not the new Nanami that we're getting, but the old Nanami, Nanami Pulse, uh, which is great, guys. They're even giving you 2,500 uh, basic tickets, which actually could help you as far as trying to acquire a, a skin, right? But they tell you exactly what you need to do, guys. You know, you need to spend 2,500 tickets. So if you're pulling for Nanami, you're going to easily be able to acquire that. 10 Phantom Pain Cages, right? The Cosmic Glow, which is a place where you're going to be acquiring materials. Uh, you're going to be farming that every day. The Winter Sequence, that's what I just showed you. And that's why I showed you the Winter Sequence, guys, because you got to clear 0.63 in order to get it right. And then the Cat Grab. And you're just going to keep doing these things every single week to acquire these rewards then you have the fortune favor which is where you know we got a few little things in here right now you need two thousand of these things here in order to get this skin right here right you need two thousand of them and in order to get this skin the bianca skin which looks absolutely delicious if you know what i mean she looks amazing in this damn thing you need 4,000. Now, I may be wrong, but the math that I figured up so far, even someone like me that's going to end up spending around 60,000 BC in this thing probably won't be able to get this. Now, my math might be incorrect. I'm going to be, you know, later on, whenever Nanami shows up, I'll be doing my pulls. And I'm going to jump in here and see how far I can actually go. But from what I see, that's what it takes because you got to spend 2,500 tickets to get 150 of these. You got to spend 5,000 to get another 150. You got to spend 7,500 to get another 150. And if you guys go up here, guys, like, I mean, you got to spend an insane amount of BC to acquire enough of these things to be able to get these skins. And it just, yeah, it looks like a, a big whale thing. I mean, I mean, they got 150,000 tickets here to spend. I mean, 150,000 tickets. I mean, triple S plus in characters, guys. I mean, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. And then the lucky draw event is an event where you're just going to be spending BC. So I can't really recommend you free to play definitely to do this because if you click on this thing, guys, I mean, you just redeem your rainbow cards or your BC in order to do this. Now it is 30 BC of to get one of these things. And if you do do these pouches, you can't, well, let me come back in here. If you build up so many times, like if you do it 20 times, you'll get a shard for an SS character, right? So you can acquire these shards for your SS characters. And the higher you go, the more shards you gain. You have a random uh, chance of getting these shards, right? You got a random chance of getting these shards. You got a 1% chance of getting S-rank shards. You got a 1.5% of getting S-rank boosters. 
and a ring booster 2.5% chance, right? But this isn't something I'd recommend you free to play to do because you're going to use your BC in order to do it, right? And that thing is like, they right here, guys, use a total of 50 fortune pouches. Those are fortune pouches, what we just looked at. And so, yeah, I think that uh, it's going to be difficult. I mean, even getting the 2000 uh, fortunes, we'll see how many BC you actually need to spend in order to do this. Uh, because for the good fortune, you know, you can spend random uh, tickets here uh, or weapon tickets, and, but you're only going to get, you know, 7,500 tickets is an S weapon, right? So you're going to end up spending, you know, 7,500 weapon tickets. You're going to get 540 of these, right? You're still going to need about 1,500 more of them, right? And if you go and spend 15,000 uh, tickets on, you know, Nanami, right, which a lot of players are going to do, I mean, then you're going to get another 200, 400, 600, uh, 750, uh, 900, uh, 1,050, right? So 1,050 plus 540 is 1,590, right? It still won't give you enough to get Kamoi skin, right? So I could be wrong, but it doesn't look very positive as far as, you know, free-to-play players being able to get either one of these skins. I mean, you're still going to be able to get that S selector from the event, which is pretty nice. And speaking of that, in this thing, guys, like they also have those shards available in here. There's all kinds of little goodies in here. You got uh, memory resonance material pick, but you can actually get these things every single month from Warzone. This here is actually what I'm going to be going for, for Lucia Plume. But uh, when I do my pulls, I'll just spend 15,000 black cars and I'll spend 7,500 weapon tickets and see how far it takes me in here as far as, you know, how many things you're actually going to get. But from the way it looks, you know, I mean, I could be wrong. It doesn't look like this skin is going to be attainable. And it definitely doesn't look like that Bianca skin is going to be attainable. And then you have the cat grab, which is something else you need to do. This is honestly really, really easy, guys. You just come in here and you're going to click on this thing here, right? And all you're trying to do is get to these boxes, right? You're going to click on this little icon over here and... Well, that is not what we wanted to do. Uh, not bad, not bad, right? But if you click these little gold icons, that's going to give you some points. And you see in the top left-hand corner of the screen, right? You're just trying to acquire these points, right? And the big ones, oh my God, I suck at this so much, boy. I suck, I suck, I suck. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. So right now I got 716 points. Your target points, 1,088. And that's, you know, we're trying to get it. So we got the points now. We've acquired enough points. You want to just keep kind of keep racking up your points. And that's really all you got to do in this thing, guys. Like, uh, just pick up these gold rocks. Pick up those little red boxes. And you do get points for the gold rocks, but you're going to get a lot more points for all of these items right here. And also, you're going to be able to acquire, you know, some black cards through here. So I would suggest playing it, you know, get some extra uh, black cards. You'll also be able to acquire some of these materials also, which is pretty damn nice. And then we have, you know, her last bowl, which is where, you know, this is the shop where you're going to be farming for these materials. These are the memories for Nanami, I believe a four piece and then a two piece Einstein's, which you're going to end up uh, putting on her Einstein on top. And then her last bowl. This is the story, guys. This story is super, super sad. Oh my God. Tearjerker, my friends, big tearjerker. Cosmic Glow, which is where you're gonna farm for your materials. You have the shop down in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And also, you know, you have in the news where you can acquire, you know, certain materials. Make sure that you are acquiring these things, guys, as you're playing through everything, right? Do collect everything that you can out of here. And that pretty much covers uh, her last bow, guys. Like, it's a really awesome event. Everybody's going to be able to get that free S rank selector. And I'll talk more about that later on. But I mean, I'm loving this event, guys. I'm loving the PC client. This thing is absolutely amazing to play on. So let me know what you all think about this update. Let me know if you're excited about the PC client coming. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. DD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.